not very different from most of the people who are out there actually. I went to Ferguson as somebody who is a part of the community, who grew up in Ferguson Florissant School District, who went to school with a lot of people in the area. You know, I frequent there. I have family members who live in the apartment complex where Mike Brown was killed. So it's just a part of St. Louis that I hold, you know, true and dear to my heart because it's where I, you know, started to become a young adult. Uh, in terms of how it shaped my identity as a black woman in America, I would say that this experience has uh, overall shown me the amount of disinterest in you know, the black woman in general, women of color in general. Um, I would say that I thought before this that the possibility of me receiving justice, you know, if anything happened to me would have been high just because I am, you know, a woman. I am, you know, a, a contributing member of society. I am involved in different things. I am a college graduate. I mean, all these things that they tell you matter on a day-to-day -day basis and, you know, will make you successful in terms of getting things done. Um, and I say that with quotation marks, just pertaining to business matters and dealing with the police, you know. Um, and all, none of those things help me at the end of the day. So it really does come down to issues of identity, I feel, um, and how people perceive uh, different identities, you know, whether that be through a direct experience or by hearsay. So I think that it's really important now that uh, I look at the way I interact with other people because I really am a representation of a larger group of people. So I wanna make sure that I hold myself to a certain standard um, and I'm fully educated on the things that should happen and should not happen um, because there is gonna be nobody there uh, to follow up in, in terms of my case.